Max Kaiser predicting a Bitcoin God candle resulting in a $100,000 surge. We're also going to be discussing the latest with Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Russia starting to do business and Bitcoin, which is going to help usher in this God candle. So let's break it down. And yes, right now we're only $200 away from the local high on the year. So let's send this baby to a new annual high, shall we? I appreciate you guys. Let's get it. So you can see the headline right here. Max Kaiser predicts a Bitcoin God candle resulting in a $100,000 surge. Max also made this prediction. Bitcoin is looking to bust through 50,000 per Bitcoin this weekend. That's right. Jamie, the tapeworm diamond is a suicide bank. Banker, and that's why we have Bitcoin. You know what I mean? It's the opposite of fiat currency. It's freedom. It's peace. It's transparency. It's everything we've dreamed of our entire lives. I'm also going to be sharing this headline, Qatar Sovereign Wealth Fund, considering investing $500 billion into the king crypto, BTC. And is a god candle to 100000 really possible for Bitcoin? We're going to be discussing this. First, let's start with Max Kaiser's infamous tweets he recently shared December 3rd. The god candle a $100,000 uptick in Bitcoin is in play. It will shift the global access of wealth and power in one single tick. I have one word for you. $100,000 Bitcoin God Candle fans. Qatar. The rumors are getting very loud on this. Their sovereign wealth fund is rumored to be looking to buy one half trillion dollars worth of BTC, which is approximately 500 billion in USD. Makes Michael Saylor's recent buy for 500 million look like a shrimp right? They're like, yo, we can 100x that sailor. We're the big dogs around here. You can see Max uh, posted this where uh, Qatar a few months back, actually the president met with uh, Najib uh, Bukele. And then on December 6th, Max shared an update. Uh, December 6th, 1132 AM update. To add clarity, here's what my source said. Bitcoin makes our one half trillion dollar sovereign wealth fund effectively worthless. We should just convert all of it into Bitcoin. Let me know if you agree or disagree. I agree. I mean, what's the alternative? Where else are you going to park your capital and get these type of returns that we can get with Bitcoin? Can you do that in junk bonds? Probably not. Can you do that with gold? Oh, hell no, right? So there is no second best. There is no alternative, right? And he also shared here, I mean, Max has been killing it with these uh, this news. He's been leaking it on X, and I've been covering it first and foremost. We're beating the Wall Street Journal. We're beating Forbes. I saw a Forbes article this morning covering what I just shared three days ago. So they're three days behind JV and Max, just FYI. Here's what Max shared. Russia, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Iran, will start doing deals in Bitcoin. Qatar knows this and is pulling the trigger on a huge Bitcoin buy for their sovereign wealth fund. And this was on the back of the news. I Iran's president arrives in Moscow and Russia to meet Putin just one day after the Russian leader met Saudi leader. So why are they all meeting? What's going on? What's going on in BRICS right now? Could they potentially adopt Bitcoin as a strategic world reserve currency? These are all million dollar questions at play right now. You know what I mean? So, uh, and also we had Caitlin Long who shared, I caught up with a bit big Bitcoiner, an investor in Bitcoin's infrastructure, cuz who said he doesn't think this rally is all about the spot. ETF, he thinks is about this too. I missed this at the time, but looking at this this morning, it seems there wasn't much coverage at all. Dating back to September 12th, uh, earlier in the year, just in the Emir, basically the president of Qatar, the king, the god, whatever you want to refer to him as, has landed in El Salvador. What do you think they're going to be talking about? Bitcoin nation, state, adoption, perhaps? You already know. So you know what's been going on uh, behind closed doors, behind the scenes. So let's break down what's happening, shall we? Since acquiring Bitcoin in 2011, Max Kaiser has witnessed an unimaginable rise in its value. According to his recent statements, he boasts a staggering 20 million percent profit on his Bitcoin stash. He shared this on Twitter December 4th at 7.22 uh, uh, p.m. I'm up 20 million percent since 2011 with my Bitcoin. Now, it's kind of hilarious this flex because this guy Shareboy wrote, why do some of the Bitcoiners act like spoiled brats about the gold price with Mad Max being the worst offended? I am up 50% on my junior gold mining stock. 
in six months. Now, clearly, Shareboy is a uh, Peter Schiff fanboy, I would imagine. I mean, he's bragging about his 50% gain and his junior gold mining stock. So Max does the ultimate flex. Yeah, I'm just up 20 million percent since 2011 with my Bitcoin. Probably nothing. Now, you do the math. That means for every dollar Max Kaiser invested in Bitcoin in 2011 is now worth 20 million. That's 20 million percent returns. You run the math and let me know how wealthy do you think Max truly is? Uh, but probably lost it all in the boat accident because he was just on uh, Alex Jones's show and Alex said, yo, Max, I know you're sitting on over a million Bitcoin. Then no, Max is like, I lost all that in the boat accident. So there you have it. But anyways, amid discussions comparing Bitcoin gains to other assets like gold, Kaiser's response remains unwavering. He posted his tweet in response to the user stating he's up 50% on his junior gold mining stocks. So would you rather have 50% gains or 20 million percent gains. You let me know, fam. Let me know in the chat. Now, Kaiser's predictions often grab attention and they are not without substance. He is the high priest for a reason. He's the right-hand man of Bukele and the strategic Bitcoin advisor to El Salvador and Naiji Bukele. So clearly he has some insights. So for him to say a 100,000 God candle is in play, that means he truly believes that a 100,000 uptick in the Bitcoin price is in play that will literally shock the world and that the Bitcoin singularity is upon us. Now we're only a thousand away from a thousand concurrent viewers, guys. Keep smashing those likes. Show your support. We're getting into the meat and potatoes now. Quoting Max here, the Bitcoin price was lagging behind the rise in hash rate while competitor CZ and Binance was being targeted and then taken down at the behest of the large Wall Street players. The price rise now is catching up to the implied hash adjusted price of $375,000 per Bitcoin. So according to the current hash rate, right, the difficulty adjustment, which is currently hitting new all-time highs, he says the Bitcoin Bitcoin price is really worth 375000 It's just a lagging indicator. So when do you feel the Bitcoin price action is likely to catch up and hit that $375,000 target? Please do let me know. And here's another tweet. I mean, it's all over the news now. We broke the news though, just FYI. You heard it here first. Max reports of rumors of Qatar Sovereign Wealth Fund entering the Bitcoin market and could be interesting in purchasing up to $500 billion, a half a trillion worth of BTC. Now, here's the Amir of uh, Qatar. You're looking at him. Met with Najib Bokele. There's many pictures of them together as well, which you can uh, clearly see. So this is clearly pretty big news. And uh, let's get to some other news here. Do you think we're likely to bust through 50,000 this weekend? If so, let me know and holla at your boy. So yeah, $500 billion sovereign wealth fund. Convert that baby into the king crypto. Let other nation states do the same. As they can see, Bitcoin is clearly the answer. There's so much money right now in the Middle East. It's not even a joke. So is the God candle truly doable? As Max Kaiser says, what are your thoughts? I feel it's a given if there was that type of announcement. I personally believe that Bitcoin game theory right now is in full effect. I appreciate the super sprinkle. I love Bitcoin, but I think the Qatar thing is a rumor. Well, it is exactly what I shared with you what it is. Qatar didn't announce it. Max was having a conversation from someone in Qatar talking about their sovereign wealth fund. And I shared with you exactly what they said. So they're hinting that they're going to be investing into Bitcoin, converting their half a trillion dollar fund. But you're correct. That is not 100% certain. This is according to Max Kaiser. But all I am saying is Max Kaiser's the high priest for a reason. And when he says something, it typically is because it is true. So we shall see. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Let me know.